if you had a chance to change one thing in Africa, what will you change? Mais c'est ce qu'on a dit, hein? c'est-à-dire que tous ces obstacles-là, hein, ça bloque l'Afrique à se développer. Visa, Covid, euh, transport, euh, ma ma transport aérien, transport maritime. Mais il y a tellement de, 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 de conditions, de prix qui changent à tout moment et qu'il n'y a pas uniformité des tarifs un peu partout. C'est un frein terrible pour que l'Afrique se développe aussi. speaking with the consulate or the embassy of Congo in Ghana? Yeah, Congo in Ghana, yes, you are welcome, sir. Thank you. Um, so I wanted to find out um, how much does a visa fees cost to go to Congo? Uh, $250 for three months, one single entry. And what about multiple entry? $300. Multiple entry is $300. Yeah. Okay, which one is the four hundred dollars? Because I'm seeing the four hundred dollars on the internet. The four hundred dollars for six months. That yes. one goes with the multiple entries. Oh, okay. I've always wanted to go to DR Congo, but since the cheapest visa to get me to DR Congo is $250, of which I think this will be my most expensive visa that I've ever applied, of which I think is ridiculous. Because if you want Africans to travel within Africa, $250 to $400 as visa fees is really mind blowing. But thank God we have Congo in Ghana. This is Zaire, the former name of Congo. I love the fact that this part of Ghana is Africa. You can find all countries' capital in here. But after walking through the streets of Congo in Ghana, I felt like that is not enough because this project is Africa to the world, changing the narrative of African countries by promoting Africa in a positive way, one country at a time, but it's time to promote DRC. But I think the visa is extremely expensive. It's extremely expensive. Um, one person um, acquiring visa fee just to visit Congo and it's um, 250 USD. It's so expensive and this is going to be the most expensive visa we have ever acquired. And I think they should do something about it. And when we get there, we should ask them the reason why it has to be 250 because there is no way that we have ever visited that we've paid an amount even up to $200. And, and it's not just $250, it ranges from $250 to $400, of which I think is really ridiculous, man. It's really ridiculous. I mean, if you want Africans to travel within Africa, or if you even want to attract tourism into Congo, why must you charge that outrageous amount? If that is the case, you're actually killing tourism. Yeah. You know, Congo has a bad name out there and i think it's about time you open up so that people will come to congo and experience the real beauty of congo so that they will be telling the beautiful stories about congo i mean we will not give up we're still gonna spend the money so we're currently here at um drc you can see the flag waving so high and um let's just go and pay the 250 dollars and this is why i always say that whenever we come to your country be nice to us man yeah. and some of the border immigration officers are so rude to the extent that when you arrive sometimes people don't expect an african to travel within africa i mean what has been one of your worst experience at the at the border man at the border um it's the way um africans treat their fellow africans it's so bad to the extent that you will be in the line with a white person or, or um, a fellow African country from a, maybe from the east and I don't know I, I don't know what this green passport has done to some of the people in Africa or some of the immigration officers in Africa the moment they see this green passport 
you are a suspect. You are a suspect. Because they I think consider, they consider you to be a criminal, which is not supposed to be so. Because we are all we are all Africans. I shouldn't be in the line with the white man. Then you you don't ask the white man any questions because you think he's a white man. He just pass and you just put the stamp. Boom. Then when I get there, you ask me so many questions to the extent that sometimes you even want to see our bank account. I'm you telling you. How can how can you ask someone <laughs> that you want to see the person's uh, bank account? I remember account? there was a country that I went to that they told me I should go and check my bank account. Um, for them to see how much money I have in the account before they can allow me to enter the Africa. country. In Africa, man. It's nothing. We need an African passport to allow Africans to move from one country yeah. to another. It's, it's really crazy. So this is um, the Congo Embassy and uh, we're going to apply. We cannot put camera in there. So we'll see you after we get back. Some of you might be saying that $250 is cheap or the money I pay for it. I'm gonna pay, but I just wanna let you know that I'm not doing this video for myself. Even as a Congolese, you might be mad because I'm saying that visa fees in Congo is extremely expensive. You might think that I wanna make your country look bad. See, I'll be the last person to make an African country look bad, but I think it's time for a change. That's why I'm doing this video. I will pay the $250, but I think after this video, something must be done. That's why I hope each and every one of you watching this video will definitely share this video because we definitely need tribeless Africa. Shout out to African Traveler for gifting me this um, t-shirt. But you can see like the message tells it's it clear. all. Tribeless Africa, that's what we need. And borderless Africa. He, he also has the borderless Africa. I use the borderless Africa because I wish we can remove borders so that it can allow Africans to move within Africa. See, I'm not saying remove the borders. The borders can be there, but make it so easy for Africans to move within their own continent. If you are from Europe, with an European passport, you can go everywhere. But if you are from Africa with, an, with, with a Ghanaian passport, how many countries can I go with a Ghanaian passport? This is why I'm saying that we need a borderless Africa. The big mistake we have made is by making each other competitors. We are not competing. Our problem is that we are not working closer together to meet the demands that our people have. And as I was telling another gathering, you know, these borders, and I also mentioned to my brother, these borders that you create silos for yourselves amongst, you must always remember, are not your creation. These were creations of people outside of this continent who made these borders not to develop you, but to extract from you. Now that you want to develop yourself, we must start looking at these borders and we must start removing the barriers that we have put that have defined and de defined us in the past and now hinder us from being the giant that we should be. I finally got hold of my passport in less than 24 hours so I would say that a big shout out to the Congo Embassy in Ghana for this has been one of the fastest visa I've ever applied in all my trips in Africa I guess the more money you pay the faster your visa but hey i just want to say this man i'm not here to make congo look bad but i feel like i have a platform that we can use this platform to change something so if you're watching this video as a congolese yourself please don't be mad at me because i know that you have friends abroad who would love to visit your country but knowing that visiting your country you have to pay this amount of money to enter your country is actually ridiculous and i believe that it's going to be embarrassing telling your friends to come with you and at the end of the day knowing that you're paying 250 dollars to 400 dollars as what uh, visa fees so I asked the ambassador why is it so expensive to apply for Congolese visa and he is saying that they did that just to reciprocate what Ghana is doing in Congo so I decided to go to Congo and find out for myself <laughs> Our trip 
trip to Kobo has been one of the most expensive trips ever. Um, why? First of all, the tickets were so expensive. Going to Congo is extremely expensive. Not just the visa, but even the ticket. Can you believe it? We're planning to go to Congo on the 31st of August. And the cheapest flight is what? $828. See, 1st September, even if you go on 1st September, same price. 2nd September, same price. The cheapest price here is what? 3rd September. Can you guys see this? See, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10. Same prices, man. It's, you know, and this will even take us 22 hours for us to get there. So if you want to go with a 7 hours flight, which is going to cost you what? $1,239. I don't know what are we going to do in Congo that we have to spend this amount of money, man. But uh, trust me, traveling in Africa... It's not really encouraging at all it's not giving africans the chance to explore their own continent because to me it's i feel like it's so ridiculous traveling in africa man second um the visa fees was actually one of the most expensive visa i've ever applied and we had a problem because we arrived at the airport very late yesterday and um you know i have one of my crew please say hi hi so pieces from Tanzania. So you know we we're still trying to have that Pan African movement. I'm from Ghana. Pieces from Tanzania. My girlfriend is from Kenya. My PA is from Nigeria. Very soon, I get someone from um, the North Africa because that's the only person that I think I don't have in my team for now. And um, when we research online, he doesn't need a visa to come to Congo. What do you need then? Visa on arrival seven days. Based on arrival for, for seven days, seven days yeah? holding an East African passport. So when we landed yesterday, what happened? They asked, they uh, they told me like I have to pay ninety US dollars. That's for the visa, visa fee. But it's written like oh, no, I'm, I'm not supposed to pay. Like the first seven days is for free. It's on arrival. Then if I want to extend, I have to pay. But then they say like no, you have to pay all the way 90, 90 US dollars at, at the at the airport, which is not true. From what I know, which is that which is not true. We tried to pay with uh, a card. They said no. no they they don't cash. need a card. They want uh, physical cash. So that's why we are going to the airport right now because they seized the passport yeah, yesterday. Yeah. So we just woke up very early, going to the airport to grab the passport. That's one thing too that I did not like is that about when we landed the, the the what do you call it the COVID test. I mean it was. Yeah. We've paid before coming, yeah? But you, you decided to test us, but you didn't give us our results. Until now. Until uh, so now, we don't have our results. So what is the answers of having a COVID test and not having a result over there? But you've taken the money even before we landed. Some things that happens in Africa is a bit shady. It's a bit fishy that you simply can't understand. I mean, Ghana is charging $150, which sometimes I think it's very ridiculous, but at the end of the day, you have your resort right at the airport, which makes so much sense. But here, we go here, we never got our resorts. They've taken the money, 45, 45, 45. You see why I'm saying that it's so expensive to come to Congo, $45 times three. We also did a um, COVID test in Ghana, $50 times three. Combine it together. This trip is almost $6,000 already. Thank you. We just left the airport. Peace got his passport right now, and also he got the visa. But something that really shocked us yesterday, they were telling us that you're gonna get you have to pay 30 what days. 90 US for 30 days, visa. 90 dollars for what 30 days visa. But right apparently, now. when we got there, they decided to give him a week visa on arrival just for seven days. It's 90 just US. 90, it's not just it's 90 US dollars. You know how much 90 US dollars is gonna do. And I don't even know what they are using the money for. Did you know that we actually spent $2,536 on visa only? 
ridiculous and crazy right but i'm gonna break it down for you because i have the receipt right in front of me i mean the single entry to enter congo we were two right so me and steven we had to pay 250 times two which makes it 500 dollars when i was in congo i had a call from ethiopian airlines that i have to fly to utopia so because of that i need to exit congo and come back again exiting congo i really wanted to come back because i really want to put congo on the map like i said when i got to congo i really fell in love with congo that's why i even got my shirt napenda congo which means that i really love congo so in order for us to get out of congo we had to apply for another visa which is a multiple entry visa that will allow us to come back to congo if we exit congo and that visa fee alone cost us 250 dollars again as a multiple entry so two of us 500 dollars don't forget that peace has already paid 390 dollars which i explained in the previous videos when you check online yeah as a tanzanian holding an establishment passport you only have like you get seven days on of, of, of on arrival arrival to congo and when i arrived at the airport these guys like they were asking me like where's your visa i told them like okay it's here uh like i get visa free seven free. days yeah. but they're saying no 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 you have to pay for yeah. it and then you say how much 90 dollars which is almost ridiculous <laughs> Ridiculous, 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 and which does not make sense. And after that, we pay the ninety dollars. Yeah. Then they gave me the seven days. Then applying for a visa for thirty days, they told me uh, in the beginning they said like one hundred and eighty US dollars. Then you have to buy a form. Imagine a visa form is fifty dollars. Visa form one hundred and eighty dollars yes. plus the fifty, and also because it was around two hundred and thirty. Then the guy said, like, there, there's another charge, visa charge, which is almost $50 oh, yes. again. So the total is almost $280. Plus the $90, it came up with the, uh, the total of $370. Which, which doesn't make crazy. any sense. That only means, like, uh, maybe, like, I think the problem is maybe, in, like, um, in the government, like, maybe they expect investors to come to the country and not regular citizens and stuff like that so do the math and let's go now we left congo and we decided to come back that's why we found ourselves in gisenye goma border and it was such a beautiful border and i was excited to enter congo again and when i got there apparently my visa expires on that same day we told them that if the visa has expired what do we do then they said we need to apply for another visa right at the border i mean um they wanted to charge us 400 dollars or 300 dollars at the border but i told them that i don't have that money at that particular moment so we had to go to gisenye again and apply for the visa from kinshasa and that visa alone was 300 dollars each i was with steven so 300 dollars each times two that is 600 dollars i was so excited when i got my visa because i can't wait to put congo on the map then i go to the border again they, they told me that you know what you need another money which is 90 dollars as what a border stamp i've already paid 300 dollars times two and they are telling me that i need to pay another 90 dollars as a visa stamp and it was a border stamp or something it was ridiculous which adds up to 390 dollars times two again i've never seen any country that you have to pay 390 dollars for seven days visa you know the 300 dollars that we paid i thought it can take us through the entire journeys in congo but they told us that that visa is only for seven days this is actually the visa if you if you want to verify i'm going to show you all of that i'm not here to um make things up but i'm doing this video because i want things to change you know what after seven days i decided to leave the country because i couldn't afford to pay for another visa because i, I asked them that if i have to apply for another visa how much is it going to be can you believe that another one month visa in the country cost you $183? I shed tears within my body. It didn't come up because paying all those money was um, painful. Because all I wanted to do was to put Congo on the map. But why do I have to go through all of that just to put a country on the map? I love what I do. And... I was not done with what I, I was I was not done with the reason why I went to Congo so I had to pay for the visa fees again and it was a hundred and eighty three dollars once again multiply that by two let me tell you something that I found in Congo that I think it has to change 
you know when we were going to Addis Ababa we had to exit the country right and they told us that we need to pay an amount of $55 as go pass and that's the go pass is an airport tax you know your visa your, your ticket alone is extremely expensive so why do we still have to pay another airport tax and trust me I'm just gonna be honest right here everything at the Congo airport is manual from the checking of your bags to um, getting your ticket uh, to I mean everything is manual I feel like if you are charging everybody $55 before they exit Congo then something has to be done that money must be invested wisely but I feel like that money is not invested wisely at the airport because when you get to the airport it's extremely messy I'm not trying to make Congo look bad but I'm just trying to tell you that this has to change because Congolese deserves better if Congolese are not ready to talk I'll be the spokesperson for the Congolese people because I feel like there should be a voice that speak against all these things I, I'm in the mood today that's why I'm speaking against this it's a must for you to pay $55 as go pass before you exit Congo imagine the number of people that are flying out of Congo that has to pay that amount of money don't you think it's ridiculous even as a Congolese it's by force for you to pay the money but if you are paying the money the money should be used wisely but I don't think the money is used wisely because I was in Congo myself and let me tell you something even the domestic um, flight you still have to pay a go pass I paid it myself it's $15 each I currently at um, Goma Airport heading to Kinshasa and like I told you earlier um, in Kinshasa getting out of the country you have to pay a go pass of $55 but we are here going from Goma to Kinshasa and you still have to pay a go pass and listen it's not like I'm against this but the airport doesn't fit this amount of money like the money that you guys are taking you used to, to fix the airport look at me standing like Literally, I'm standing waiting for the plane. It doesn't look attractive. Everything in here is like literally manual. But the people are paying a lot of money for this, man. Where is the money going? This is the kind of question that I'm asking. I really want to know. How much is the go pass, man, from here to Kinshasa? Go pass is not going to get money for go pass. Yeah, but how much did they charge here? Uh, they asked the uh, money. Uh, no, no, no. But go pass is, uh, is, is, is just uh, 15 dollars. So, like the private is like 15 dollars for go pass. International is 55 dollars. Wow. These are the things that um, I found in Congo that I think um, something can be done on it and um apart from all being said why my trip in congo became so expensive is that steven right here the one holding the camera crashed the drone and it was so ridiculous going through shops by shops in congo just to find a drone that a drone that cost four hundred dollars five hundred dollars was sold two thousand dollars in congo please i'm not here to blame the government but i'm also here to blame the people for taking advantage of your own people we can do better this honesty in africa is getting way out of hand how do you expect a society to move forward if we all of us are dishonest africans deserve better africa deserve better the first day we got here we um, went to the ghana embassy in congo but first we went to the congo embassy in ghana yeah. to ask them the reason why the visa fee has to be so expensive for them for ghanaians to travel to congo but they told us Ghanaians in Congo are charging 250 so they did that to reciprocate what Ghanaians are doing in Congo. So when we got here, we also went to the Ghana Embassy, Embassy. in Congo to ask them the same question. Exactly, and, and this is what they told us. They told us that 20 years ago, the visa fee for Congolese going to Ghana was just less than $50. Yeah. And then some time crossed and then they change it to fifty dollars and then later on they change it to 150 dollars mm. if you check the visa fee across the entire world for anyone going to ghana uh -huh. the maximum is 150 dollars right True. and now they are charging 250 dollars and um, also 450 dollars you know why they told us that it's because of what congo is charging mm. in ghana after they did their research 
So when did the, did the IRS uh, decided to put that amount of money? Because it's not fair for Ghanaians to pay yeah. that amount of money and Congolese are paying 50 or 150 dollars. Yeah. And that is why they decided to put the visa fee to 250 dollars. Yeah. And for me, I think we should use this platform to change this. I don't want you to watch this video and watch it alone. I want you to watch this and share, share this video yeah. because we need to create awareness. You know, Congo is beautiful. Imagine how many people can afford two hundred and fifty dollars just to go to another African country okay, yeah. to experience it. You just came back from Ghana. Mm -hmm. You applied for visa in Kinshasa. Mm -hmm. How much did you pay to get to Ghana? Dans le 450 dollars, hein, qu'on appelle. In the COVID of Ghana, it's 150 dollars. Plus COVID, which is 150. <laughs> so, which means that you spent over almost 700 dollars. Oui. 600 dollars. Ça, on n'a pas les billets et No, I want to know your flight ticket. <laughs> bon, uh, là, j'aurais du mal à expliquer parce que moi, j'ai acheté un billet uh, Kinshasa, Côte d'Ivoire. Okay. Côte d'Ivoire. Côte d'Ivoire, Accra. The message is very simple. simple. This, this must change, change now. now. Allow Africans to travel within Africa. Simple. Allow Africans to experience Africa because Africa belongs to Africans. Africans. Thank you. Um, once again, I think that's all that happened. And um, I hope you all can help me tag um, officials that need to um, see this video. Um, then I hope that this video can cause a change. So please do me a favor like the video It's very important if you are watching this video Can you like it and if it, today is your first time seeing this annoying face on your screen Some of you are saying I shouldn't call myself annoying, but I know it. I'm annoying So subscribe and be part of this awesome family and uh, I'll see you in the next one My name is still Mr. Ghana, baby, and uh, I love you all. Congo to the world. Congo is a beautiful place I love the Congolese people and I just want to see Congo deserve the glory that it's deserved. Thank you.